What I'd like to do is talk about um, eye diseases and aging. So as we get older, like losing eyesight is, is one of the things eyesight degenerates. So can you talk about what are the most common thing issues that happen with eyes as we get older? Yeah, so so our eyes are, of course, like you mentioned, if you lose your eyesight, it's it's what people fear the most after getting cancer, essentially. So, um, you know, year after year, there's these, uh, they send out questionnaires to see, you know, what do you fear the most? And, and, and people, you know, number one is cancer. Number two is loss of your eyesight. So um, people fear more loss of their eyesight than getting uh, HIV, for example. Uh, so, you know, in the consequences of losing your sight is obviously, you know, you lose your mobility, you lose your independence. And, and uh, so it's associated with, uh, with, with bouts of depression or very severe depression. And, 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 you know, it costs healthcare system tremendously to, uh, to deal with loss of eyesight. So, um, so yeah, so it's a, it's a, it's a big burden, um, uh, as we age, just to, to start to lose our eyesight. Um, so a number of things happen, and one of them we touched on earlier on is um, the this hyperactivated immune system. You know, so again, the the retina is is an extension of your brain. So a lot of the same type of mechanisms that occur in um, in the brain occur in the retina. So biochemically, the the retina, so the the layer of neurons at the back of your eye. Um, is part of your brain. So, you know, same types of reactions. It's also got the same type of immune system. So it's, um, it's a uh, immune privileged organ. Uh, so along with the brain, um, uh, the retina is, has a particular type of immune system, which is uh, really uh, specifically an innate immune system. So it's, it's composed of a, a type of cell called the microglia. And then you have some other cells that can infiltrate, you know, both, both the brain and, and the retina. Um, and so essentially when, um, when you aged, one of the, one of the things that happens is that, uh, you get this hyperactivation of these immune cells, you know, so they start to, uh, to be more reactive and start to, in a sense, produce more inflammatory factors. And in some cases they're able to, you know, kind of start to, to, to become more phagocytic so they can um, damage local tissue. Um, now, one of the important things in the eye is that your photoreceptor outer segment, so this is the, the neuron in your retina that caps photons and transforms them into an electric impulse that is relayed via a series of interneurons to your brain. So, so this is essentially the first chain they're the first link in the chain of, of phototransduction so so those um those cells are um obviously critical for sight and um critical you know for fight and flight reflex <laughs> so because you know you got to see the the tiger that's attacking you or so on so uh so essentially uh, they're recycled or the outer segments. So a whole part of that neuron is recycled. And we think around every 14 days, uh, there, there's a recycling of, of those neurons. So obviously not all at the same time, but there's a, a type of um, timed recycling. And this is done by um, a type of cell called the retinal pigment epithelium. Um, and so this is, is, you know, again, one of the most um, uh, phagocytic cells in your body. So one of the cells that kind of eats up the most uh, in, in your body. Um, and I can actually, when I talk about the retina, I often talk in superlatives, like this is the most this or the most that, but um, it's actually, you know, the, the retina per weight is thought to consume the most energy in your body, you know, so it's a very relatively small um, uh, system, but obviously, you know, with, with the brain. Um, so this is, you know, very, widely used statistic is that 20% of the, the sugar or the carbohydrates or, or of, of energy or blood and oxygen is consumed by your brain and your retina, right? So per, you know, in, for, for its own weight, that that's a huge amount. Um, so again, you need both of those systems for, for, to have a survival advantage. So once you have the recycling of your photoreceptors, um, as, as you age, you know, it's, it's kind of like a race car that you've driven uh, at, at a 
uh, extreme speeds throughout a longer period of time, then some things start to break down. And so one of the things that starts to, to, to fail in the retina is this whole process of being able to recycle the photoreceptors. And so those cells that have, you know, worked for, for several decades, um, all of a sudden they start to, to, to fail or they're, they're, they're not recycling as effectively or they're recycling and then there's a buildup of, of some of the lipids uh, uh, that, that um, end up you know, kind of seeping out or being extracellular to, to, uh, to the cell. And so you get these buildups of, of, uh, of lipids and this in itself causes an inflammatory stress. And so this is a condition called um, dry age-related macular degeneration. So essentially you get a buildup of uh, these, these substances or structures called drusen. Um, so these are little yellow spots that, that you see at the back of the eye. Um, as this progresses, um, so this, this doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna you know, lose sight. And depending on what type of uh, uh, stats you look at, this is an extremely prevalent condition in, in um, in, in, uh, in society, uh, but most people or, you know, several people, so large percentage will not have any kind of major impact on site. Then once those lipid deposits or those deposits of fat start to grow or get bigger, um, then, then we start to have a problem. So then we can, uh, we can start losing sight, especially if it's around an area of the retina, which is called the macula. Um, and so this is, the central part of the eye, and it's uh, around two percent of the surface of your of your retina, um, but it's actually where all the color vision occurs, um, or I should say, the large majority of your color vision and your high definition vision. So once you start to get accumulation of these um, lipid deposits, uh, if they start to invade the center of the uh, of the eye or the the macula. Um, then you can, then you really have age related macular degeneration, you know, so this is, uh, this is a, a very serious condition that can obviously lead to, to severe compromise in sight. And at the same time, uh, what happens is in around 10% um, of, of people with uh, age related macular degeneration is that the Again, the most highly perfused vascular bed in your body is right behind your retina. This is called the choroid. And so essentially the choroid starts to thin out. So, you know, by mechanisms that are not fully understood, uh, likely also due to some of the inflammatory stress that occurs with, uh, with these immune cells that come to the back of the eye. So either from circulation um, or partially in the retina, primarily through circulation and um, uh, other mechanisms, again, that we don't fully understand that cause a degeneration of that vascular uh, supply. Um, and I, at one point, um, there's, there's an ischemic stress. So there's no more oxygen that goes to these photoreceptors and, and, and so on. So you start to get um, all this kind of buildup of, um, of factors that can that try to stimulate blood vessel growth, but those blood vessels end up breaking the, the, uh, the back of the retina, or, you know, if you get a thinning at the back of the retina and they can dive into the retina, and then you have a condition called wet, uh, age related macular degeneration. So, uh, wet AMD or neovascular exudative, uh, age related macular degeneration. So those are kind of the, you know, the, the worst case scenario in an aging eye is when you get this wet neovascular um, age-related macular degeneration. Okay. So what, what, can we, what can we do to avoid getting this macular degeneration as we get mm -hmm. older? I mean, are there particular foods or other habits that we should follow? Yeah. So, so um, that's, that's a very good question. Good pertinent question. Obviously, you know, um, unfortunately, it, it, there, it's a bit hard to answer. Um, part part of there's been a lot of studies that that have been done that looked at at various you know molecular approaches. Right now, there's no drug that is approved. So this is 2021. Uh, there's no drug approved for the dry form of age-related macular degeneration. Some have gone 
um, up to phase three um, in, in the clinical trial realm. So, you know, they're kind of on the doorstep of being approved, but yet, you know, not, nothing's been, nothing's actually made it. So um, the probably prevalent way right now of dealing with uh, dry age related macular degeneration is through uh, vitamin supplements. Um, mm -hmm. And this is something that, uh, you know, a lot of ophthalmologists will uh, prescribe to their, uh, to their patients. So these are, uh, you know, rich in, in uh, antioxidants and uh, they, they tend to uh, slow down a bit of the progression of, of this age related macular degeneration. Another thing that tends to work really well, and again, this is a fish diet, so it's not actually omega-3 fatty acid supplements. So that is not clear to what point it works. It, it used to be part of the original, um, the original formulation of this um, uh, supplements called ARID, so age-related eye disease study. So it was a, this really large uh, NIH-sanctioned trial that that followed you know the history of um of um, populations and to you know to try to really kind of understand what are the different uh, triggers of age-related macular degeneration what kind of uh interventions some lifestyle interventions can can uh, can interfere and so um initially omega-3 fatty acids were were evaluated um and found that they actually didn't have such a great um uh, concurrence with uh with the disease modification Whereas if you look at certain nurse studies, um, then actually eating fish, uh, especially cold water fish. So again, there's something in the fish that's not in the pill. <laughs> so, mm. so I think, you know, there's, and, and it also, you know, it, it becomes even more complicated because if you're eating fish, then your socioeconomic status might be a bit different. You might have a, a different type of uh, lifestyle choice, but, um, but certainly that was, you know, that can be associated with, with this uh, uh, slowing down the process. So uh, another factor, so these are, again, there's, um, it's a age-related macular degeneration has genetic links, um, of course. So there's mm. actually the very first um, uh, genome-wide association study um, that was, was ever done was done on age-related macular degeneration. And they identified um, this immune uh, protein called complement factor H that you know, has a very high linkage to AMD. Um, but yet um, environmental factors are, are also very important. So um, again, having that mutation will not necessarily mean you're going to have the disease. So it's not a monogenic disease, um, but it will, it will heighten your chances of, um, but there's environmental factors like obesity, um, especially in, in males. So abdominal obesity in males, is, uh, is linked to uh, age-related macular degeneration. Uh, so hip waist ratio. Um, so, so that's a good thing for uh, probably for everyone to, to keep in mind, but um, studies have so far primarily showed that in, in males. Um, smoking is likely the number one environmental mm -hmm. or you know modifiable factor, I should say, um, uh, linked to age-related macular degeneration. Um, and yeah, so I think, you know, if you have a good diet, you keep your, your waistline uh, relatively in check and uh, you don't smoke, you're certainly putting uh, the chances in the, in, in the right uh, quadrant if you want. Cool. And eating fish. And, and eating fish. Yeah. Twice eating a week, fish. apparently. Yeah. Twice a week. Okay. Now that's good. I hope that you found the video informative please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.